the Emmanuel Centre in central London was the venue for the first International Youth Advisory Congress and the British band McFly were among the guests. Inside the auditorium, 150 youth delegates from across the world lined up to meet another VIP, Prince Edward, the Earl of Essex, the British Queen's youngest son. The delegates are aged between 14 and 17 and come from countries as diverse as the USA, Poland, Argentina, Australia, Egypt and Namibia. The overall aim of the Congress is actually to create a platform where children from around the world, because the internet is global, where children from around the world have a voice, and a voice that's actually listened to by people who can make a critical difference. So we have children here from 19 countries, from every continent in the world, between the ages of 14 and 17. And we recognise that culture is generally linked to language and linked to geography. The internet has changed that. There's a language used on the internet that's unique to young people, no matter where they're from. There's a culture that's developed about sharing and engaging that has huge benefits but some dangers. And this Congress is going to be about young people telling us what they think the solutions might be, pointing law enforcement, government charities and industry in the right direction. So we're giving them a platform and we're listening to what they say. Global coverage of the event is being provided by the Youth Congress's own web TV channel, staffed by media students. It's hoped the five-day Congress will give the delegates especially chosen to represent their countries the chance to shape the future of the Internet in their own countries and form their own global alliance to combat child exploitation online and lobby for laws to enhance protection for children. Kevin Zucato of the Australian Federal Police says the work of the newly formed Virtual Global Task Force is vital. One of the most profound experiences I ever had was four years ago when um, I met Jim and his team and they had an idea, um, given the level of exposure that they'd had to um, child exploitation issues. And the idea was, um, and I'll coin Jim's phrase, lower our flags, get together as a group of friends who want to do something important and meaningful um, in an attempt to protect children and keep them safe online. And so we did. And um, I missed the first meeting because um, I was in Washington. But um, we hosted the second meeting in Canberra, and um, it was um, it was phenomenal to say the least. And to coin, and to use one of my words, it was awesome. Um, I'd never worked child exploitation um, matters before, and uh, having an opportunity to talk to my colleagues from Canada, Interpol, the US, um, and the UK about what was going on, about the pervasiveness of the internet, um, and the economic. Uh, generational, social and political impacts um, that these folks thought um, the, the internet would have moving forward, uh, for me, really opened my eyes and made me very committed to um, supporting the work of the Virtual Global Task Force. But it's the delegates themselves who will take the work of the Virtual Global Task Force forward into the next generation. I really hope to make a difference and let children be more safe online and like they are safe in the real world. And it's really a great opportunity to see in every place in the world what they are doing on this topic. I'm very serious about this issue on online security and safety as this is happening worldwide, even in my place, in my country called India. I mean, there are lots of uh, misuse which is being very happen and happening in India with a lot of teenagers like us. So I'm hoping to receive some kind of education so that I'll go back home and obviously spread at least to my friends, my friends spread to the other friends and keep on spreading on. Most young people using internet today have never known a world without it. The International Youth Advisory Congress is designed to make their surfing experience safe as well as fun.